Hello. Oh, there's a big square thing around my face again. Hello. Hello. Here we are. Here we are. I said I was going to resurrect. Here we are. On board a stationary narrowboat potteries because we are being discriminated against but that's not for this video that's for another one we're still not allowed out but um, before 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 I get into what what we want to talk about today we've just had a bit of a mishap on the way here is that right Tom well it frightened you no it only frightened me, me because well, it frightened you well, because you did something stupid. Well, let me explain. Let me explain what happened. I am a good driver, honestly. No. <laughs> the problem is we've got three cars, and they're all very, very different. And because we've not been going anywhere very often, they haven't been going out very often. And normally I can jump in one car into the other, into the other, and it's not a problem. But we were in the black German car coming over because it was its turn to go out and it started spitting it's it's spitting everybody and it's yeah Peter it's it started spitting with rain and I couldn't find the wipers on the black German car. Are you really gonna tell everyone what an idiot you've been? Yeah. You got like one you know like the people when they go on TV and they go, Oh and I, I met this scammed. guy and he said he loved me so I gave him all my money and you never guessed this. Well, never saw him again. Well it wasn't quite that bad, it was just my wipers. Anyway, so I've got these two sticks either side of the steering wheel and we're we're on a road, a bypass round Nantwich, which has got a left turn onto a housing estate, but the paint has gone on it. And so the the, the, the area that says that that left hand lane is only for turn onto the estate isn't there anymore and I was very aware that I'd got a car to the left of me who was going straight on not turning left but I tried to find the wipers and went for where it is on the other two cars wanted to squirt some water and then all of a sudden the engine was revving up and we weren't going anywhere and we got a car to the left of us who was going faster than we were Anyway, I mounted the kerb in an attempt to get off the, the main road, which didn't impress him, himself very much. Um, well, luckily, you went for the old man wheels, so you haven't got... If, you had, if you'd have done that in my car, with my low-profile wheels... Well, they're just round things that go around. They'd never lift to say this... Anyway, tail. seemingly what I'd done, because the gear levers on the column, and I'd pressed the button in, which puts it into park, but obviously it wouldn't park because I was doing about 20 mile an hour, but it also disengaged gear, which is why I don't like, I do like automatics, but they're not as in intuitive to drive as a manual. Anyway. Right, I'm going to see if I can illustrate a point. This is the French Japanese car. It says it's Japanese, but we know it's Renault really. And there on the right hand stalk, are all the wiper things. Yeah, easy. Indicators on the left. Wipers on the left. Okay, the Korean car that we have. It's got indicators on the left and wipers on the right. And if you push that, obviously it won't because it's not. Pardon me. Oh, I don't know. Perhaps it's not. Anyway, there are the uh, all the wiper controls. So I get into right. the German car, and on the left, yeah, we've got the indicators, and you've got that button there, which squirts water up onto the windscreen. But when you're jumping in and out of all different cars, It gets a bit confusing when you get to my age. Now on this one, reverse drive. But if you push that one, you don't actually get water on your windscreen. <laughs> That's P for park and neutral. 
yeah thankfully it didn't put the brakes on but i knocked it into neutral something i didn't realize you could do while you were actually driving but there you go that's german technology for you now what i'm going to do today because we can't go we can't go cruising and youtube doesn't like it if you don't upload videos on a regular basis and we haven't really got anything to report and i would show you how to empty the toilet because it seems to be very fashionable amongst no. YouTube. Well, ours is empty because we've not been on it. So bad. you'll just have to imagine what it's... Rude. Well, I, I mean, we could put another coat on that stove, but I can't be bothered. No, we've done that. You've done your black and white minstrel show. Again. So what we've been doing, because we've not been able to go out much, and in order to see somebody on a regular basis, we've been ordering stuff off Amazon every day, <laughs> just to break up the monotony. And some of the things I bought were for the boat. And I bought what, Coca-Cola? Coca-Cola? No, we, we didn't. Coca -Cola. Oh, we didn't get that off Amazon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bore you all to death and show you a few of the little things that we bought, because I like toys. I love toys. Don't be rude. Uh, I just but laughed. What we want to do when, when we're allowed to go cruising again is we want to make the best quality technically videos with yeah, still atrocious content, but but they will be filmed well. John, we could do the best content in the world and we'd still get rubbish figures. Yeah. I don't understand it. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get out all the toys. Right. The the video is available online. Of the. What are you doing, lady? Ethel's What's found some. I don't know. She's found something off the floor. Oh. We ought to start feeding the dog food, you know. Instead yeah. of letting the scabby. What are you eating? It better not be bloody poisonous. Yeah. What is it? Anyway, the Osmo Pocket video, the one where I bash my head again. But it it's very cumbersome to mount it onto a tripod. So I bought this little thing. And it's got a screw thread on the bottom. And it goes in there. And it's it's a battery come selfie stick. So if I press that little red button, well it won't charge it because it's already charged. So that can be oh well why are you looking at me? That can be mounted on um, well anything, these magnetic camera mounts. So we've got an Allen key stuck to them. So that's the first thing we bought. Now this is just pure indulgence. What it is, when you switch it on, you can mount a camera. and then press go and it will rotate the camera so the idea of this will be to put it on the roof of the boat and do panorama views of um, grass probably and you can set that to do one revolution in a minute and at various stages up to two hours that would be a riveting video wouldn't it no comment. Oh, yep. Ethel snoring. So that that's um, yeah, good to go.
Now this was pure extravagance. A gimbal with a waterproof camera on it. And the idea of this was that Tom can take it up to the lock with him, it's waterproof if he drops it in. And uh, get some steady shots of a boat going into a lock because I bet a lot of people have never seen that happen. So there you go. And that fits on a tripod as well if you want it to. Now the one thing about a, a ordinary camcorder with, you know, you put your hand through like that, is it's all over the place. So I invested in this simple device. Now it looks a bit cumbersome, but you can get really, really steady. We've tried it at home on a lady ship. There you go. That's another. Right, when we're out cruising, we have a camera on here that where we do all the bad taste humour. And we used to have it on a tripod on top of the sliding hatch, but our canopy folds down forwards, and we nearly lost the whole camera and tripod once when the wind got under the canopy and lifted it and it went. Now we um, as a temporary measure we've been we've been fastening it to that lip there. Now this camera is a pretty good camera, it's a Sony I know one or two very popular people use them, but there is an issue, and that we have had it pointed out to us by some of our viewers. When when we've got the sun behind us, uh, a blue spot appears in the middle of the, the screen, and I've researched, and it goes. I, on YouTube there are people complaining about this issue with Sony cameras going back at least 10 years. So we've got to live with it. But um, I've invested in a hood and a filter and I've tried a few tests at home and that didn't work either. So I think the only way is to have the camera raised a bit um, and have it pointing down slightly so that we've, we've not got the sun because if we go out from this marina and head to the right towards Langollen and um, when we're coming back late, e late, late afternoon we've always got the sun behind us so it's going right in, right in the camera so the last thing I invested in was that what is it I hear you say? Difficult to operate with one hand, that's what it is. Now that's a camera mount. Oh no, Jesus, that's quite a strong magnet. So we can put that wherever and we can raise it up and point it down. Let's give it a go. That's got me in shot. I'm hoping that with a bit of tinkering we may be able to keep the sun out of it. And then I won't get people keep saying that blue spot's a bit annoying. I know. 
But anyway, that's what we've been doing during lockdown. But we're running out of things to order off Amazon, so if anybody's got any ideas, <laughs> give us a shout. Tatty bye. Right, see how steady the steady cam is. And I'll see if I can remember how the German car works. I'm sure my co-pilot will tell me when I'm going wrong. <laughs>